The aurora is an incredible light show caused by collisions between electrically charged particles released from the Sun, that enter the Earth's atmosphere and collide with gases such as oxygen and nitrogen. The lights are seen around the magnetic poles of the northern and southern hemispheres. Auroras that occur in the northern hemisphere are called aurora borealis, or northern lights. And auroras that occur in the southern hemisphere are called aurora australis, or southern lights. Both auroras can be seen in the northern or southern hemisphere, in an irregularly shaped oval centered over each magnetic pole. Scientists have learned that in most instances northern and southern auroras are mirror-like images that occur at the same time, with similar shapes and colors. Auroral displays can appear in many vivid colors, although green is the most common. Colors such as red, yellow, green, blue and violet are also seen occasionally. The auroras can appear in many forms, from small patches of light that appear out of nowhere to streamers, arcs, rippling curtains or shooting rays that light up the sky with an incredible glow. Auroras are the result of collisions between gaseous particles in the Earth's atmosphere with charged particles released from the Sun's atmosphere. Variations in color are due to the type of gas particles that are colliding. The most common aurora color which is green, is produced by oxygen molecules located about 60 miles above the Earth. The rarer red auroras are produced by high-altitude oxygen, at heights of up to 200 miles. Nitrogen produces blue or purple aurora. When there is an opening in the Sun's atmosphere that allows electrons and protons to flow out. In terms of auroras, we need quite a lot of charged particles colliding with Earth's atmosphere to create vivid displays. So this usually requires quite a large opening, such as a coronal hole, or a sunspot. The electrons and protons from the Sun are blown towards the Earth on the solar wind. When the charged particles are blown towards the Earth by the solar wind, they are largely deflected by the Earth's magnetic field. However, the Earth's magnetic field is weaker at either pole and therefore some particles enter Earth's atmosphere and collide with gas particles. These collisions emit light that we perceive as the dancing lights of auroras. The lights of the aurora generally extend from 50 miles to as high as 400 miles above the Earth's surface. Because the phenomena occurs near the magnetic poles, getting as close to these poles as possible will rapidly increase the chances of viewing aurora. As the magnetic south pole is in Antarctica, unless you're a scientist working there, it usually leaves the northern hemisphere the most sensible option of viewing aurora. However that during strong solar storms, aurora australis are quite often visible in places south from Australia. The best places to watch the aurora, North America, the northwestern parts of Canada, Iceland, Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden and Finland. The long periods of darkness and the frequency of clear nights provide many good opportunities to watch the auroral displays. Usually the best time to watch for auroral displays is between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m.